All right, welcome back, uh, kindergarten students. We are going to be taking a look at a very famous artist today. Her name is Frida Kahlo. And Frida, she made some amazing family portraits. Uh, the one that I'm going to show you is actually one that she never was able to complete. But it's a great example of how we can look at drawing, painting our family members. So, uh, first we're going to look at this painting. Yet again, this one is incomplete, uh, but it's a really, really great painting that shows off all of her family. Uh, in the top, she had her grandparents. In the middle, you see her parents. And they're up in the clouds. And so that might give us this idea that perhaps they've left the world and have moved on, uh, maybe in Frida's belief system, into heaven. And so she's showing that they're in the clouds. Um, also, down below, you see her, all of her brothers and sisters. Yet again, she didn't complete some of these, but... She also shows that maybe uh, a baby that didn't survive when they were young, it didn't survive in the womb, and you see that in this image as well. And so that just tells us something about her and her family and how, how dear that, that child, even if they didn't live, was to them. So students, what you're going to do is you're going to draw your family. And so here I have a starting sketch and I started to make mine very similarly to how Frida kind of was laying out hers. I have some circles up here for my grandparents and then I was going to include my parents and then here's me and my wife, and then I was going to draw our two kids. And so what we want to remember is that we want to use some of the things we talked about in our last lesson. How do we draw people? Well, let's review that really quick so you know what you need to include in your family portrait. The best part of this is you can do this however you want, using crayons, colored pencils, you can paint it if you want it if you want to. It's really up to you. But you want to show people and draw people that have eyes in the middle of their head. They should have a nose, a mouth. They should also have ears. Ears are important. And then finally, they need to have hair. Hair is so important, okay? And our eyebrows are part of our hair, okay? And then our regular hair, obviously, comes in. So I'm going to draw my daughter in here with her hair, okay? just like that, and obviously she would have her neck here, shoulders here, okay? And so those are the really important things you should include. I'm going to add a few more details there to finish out her face, but that's what we need to have on all of our faces. Does mom or dad have, have a certain type of hair? I want you to try to really draw it like you see it. My daughter's hair is a little bit longer than my wife's, and she actually has some purple streaks in it. So I could include some purple in the end of it. Okay? And so, ultimately, we want to try to do our best to draw our family with the details that they have. Does do you have brothers and sisters? Well, include them. 
Do you have grandparents, maybe aunties and uncles you want to have? You should include them as well and fill up your page and draw a beautiful family portrait because the people in our family tell us a great story of who we are. All right, kindergarten, I hope you have a lot of fun with this and we'll see you in the next video.